Okay, so we've had a lot of popular demand on how to set up a Twitch channel. So I think it's long overdue that we go into a complete series on how to set up your Twitch channel. Today, what are we gonna be talking about, man? We're gonna be talking about how to make a profile pic for your Twitch page. So if you're looking to set up a Twitch avatar, this video's for you, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. This is Live Streaming Tech. If you want to learn more about live streaming online, be it Twitch, YouTube, DLive, Mixer, and beyond, then hit that subscribe button and turn that notification to on so you don't miss a single video. So let's just jump right into things. You want to figure out how to do a Twitch avatar, otherwise known as a profile pic, and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. And make sure that you stay tuned to this channel because we're gonna have an entire series on how to set up each element inside Twitch. And then he's gonna show you exactly how to upload all of it so it optimizes your Twitch okay. profile. So let's go ahead and switch it right on over. All right, with this tutorial, we're gonna start things off and how to really set up your Twitch channel. We're gonna to wanna to set it up, first of all, with your Twitch avatar, which is gonna be your Twitch profile picture. And uh, you can really just simply take a square image, but uh, we're gonna kinda of dress things up in this one. The very first thing you're gonna need is the open source software called GIMP. You can go over to gimp.org slash download, and uh, you're gonna use PC or Mac. I'm gonna leave a lot of the links in the description down below when uh, you need to kind of go and grab some of these things. There's a lot of resources we're gonna give to you today. We're gonna go ahead and open up GIMP and we're gonna hit Control and the letter N for new. Now the smallest size you can do is 200 to the largest size being 256 by 256. We're gonna go ahead and do 256. Excellent, and I'm gonna hit OK. And it's gonna default to this white background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the images that I want to add to this. Next, um, the very first thing I wanna do though, before I do that, so let's get some guides in here. We're gonna go ahead and put new guide. This is gonna tell us exactly where the middle's at and it's kinda nice to kind of place everything so it looks pleasing to the eye. So there's just this guide. Now this isn't going to pop up on your actual picture. We're gonna go again, guides, 5%, and let's go vertical this time so we see exactly where the middle's at. So this is drawn right in here. And uh, speaking of, before I go any further, as we kind of go along, you know, do this with us inside this video. So that way, if you have any kind of problems. And also, we're gonna use this as a template and we're gonna drop a link down in the description below so you can grab this template and you can use it as well. You'll get some of these assets. Some of them we're gonna change because we own the rights to them. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go over into a file and I'm gonna go and grab a picture of me. All right, and I'm gonna grab the scale tool. We're gonna select me, I'm just gonna shrink myself down until I fit the right size of this box. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna grab it in the middle. Excellent, I could probably use this just to be a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm gonna slightly put myself off the side where you hit scale. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brother here. Drag and then drop it right on in. So we're gonna resize him as well. I'm gonna just eyeball it. Not bad. Alrighty, we're gonna hit scale. Now, in most instances when you're doing this, you should be able to just click, drag it down, but unfortunately the recording software that I'm using right now doesn't allow me to do that. So I'm just gonna use the arrows to move my characters up and down. Okay, the very next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, uh, well, let's get ourselves all centered out. You can see the center here is not too bad. Unfortunately, I think my brother's head is very large in this one. We're just gonna just scroll it down just a little bit right there, there we go. That looks a little bit more proportionate. Excellent, we'll move me right there towards the center just a little bit more. We're gonna move him just a little bit off, awesome. Okay, let's grab the eraser over here, the eraser tool. And in the tool options, you should be able to change the brush. Make sure you go into the hardness 100 and change the size accordingly. 200 should be fine. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right layer because I just wanna erase his hand. So that way it looks like this. Great. And I almost feel like his hat's getting cut off here. So we're just gonna kind of scoot him over just a little bit and you see the hand kind of reappears. 
So we're just going to get that. And we're we're going to erase that. Boom. All right. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is select the bottom layer. We're going to hit this little create a new layer transparency. We're going to keep that there. We're going to hit OK. So it's the transparent layer. Right click on the bottom image. Hit alpha to selection. So here's the really cool thing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click that layer down here. Press Control and the comma. And it fills it with black background. If we turn off that layer, you see it's there. Right click on the other layer. Click on alpha to selection. Come down again to the other layer. And we're going to hit Control and comma again. So that way you can see that it actually has a little bit of a shadow behind us. But we don't see it quite yet. We're going to hit Control, Shift, and A to deselect. Go into Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. We're going to kind of make it to where it just shows a little bit of, uh, it pops us out from the background. Okay, that's not too bad. If we wanted to deepen it a little bit, we're just going to duplicate that layer. It looks good. If we wanted to do it again, we'll duplicate it. But that's probably too much. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. Right click, merge down. All right, so this is kind of plain by itself. I feel like we can probably do just a little bit more for that background. So um, one of the things I would really recommend is if you want to make your background pop without having to break the bank, take a look at our free image resource guide. You can download that at livestreamingtech.site guide. So head on over there. You can get an entire list of resources where you can get free images. They're royalty free. You don't need to worry about attribution on quite a few of them. And in this instance, we, we don't want that attribution. I've got the image rights to this particular one. Unfortunately, I can't just give it to you. Uh, it's, it's not free. So we're going to go over into the assets. And I'm just going to drag and drop what I want to use as a background. Again, we're going to move it down a layer. So you see? a little bit better there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. We're going to make this just dress up just a little bit. I'm going to click and then I'm just going to drag it on down. And I'm just kind of doing just a little bit of like a, a box. Let's do a transparency and hit OK. Now, this is going to do the top layer, the foreground. So I'm going to switch so that way we have white. And I'm going to right click this and then we're going to go into edit. Stroke selection. I want to shoot for five. Five seems like a pretty good size. We're going to keep it as a solid color. And I'm going to hit stroke. Boom. Control Shift A to deselect. And we can scroll on in. And you'll see it kind of did a beveled edge. People aren't going to see that very well because it's going to be this, like, this small. So this is not too bad. In any event, next thing we're going to do is hit Control in the letter S. That's going to save it. So we're going to save this as the Twitch avatar template. This is just a GIMP readable file. In other words, this is not where we're going to upload over to Twitch at all. So I'm going to select the proper layer, or excuse me, proper folder. And there we go. I'm going to hit save. All right. Now we can use that anytime that we want to. And I highly recommend that you always store the GIMP file. That way, if you want to change out your profile picture, you can do that. We're going to hit Control Shift in the letter E so we can export it as an actual image that we're going to upload over onto Twitch. So I'm just going to name this one Live Streaming Twitch Avatar. Excellent. We're going to hit Export. I'm going to keep all these settings as is. We're going to hit export. Great. Now this is ready to rock and roll. And if we actually take a look at this image, we'll blow it up. And you can see this is a pretty large image of it, but this is still going to be able to upload this. And uh, while we're talking about Twitch, believe it or not, you can get yourself set up with some thumbnails for your videos on demand. It actually is quite useful. If you go over and take a look at this next video, I'll show you exactly how to do it and why you want to do it. Uh, what are you waiting for? I'll see you over there un unless you're a rebel. If you're a rebel, go over to that one. Go to that one. No, no, I'm kidding. Just go there.